order to design the life that you want, you're going to have to say no to what you don't want, or not even saying no to what you don't want, but making room for what you want by letting go of the things that no longer serve you. Hi, I'm Angel. Thanks for stopping by for a bedtime vlog. I'm probably talking more to me than to you, but I'm talking to you too. Uh, to us all. I think, I see a few people out there who seem to really, um, who seem to be mastering their energy level quite well, and those are people who inspire me. Um, and I do feel like I am getting better and better at mastering my own energy level. And all along the way, I feel that way. So, um, you know, it's kind of a catch-22 to that in that I think it's a good educated guess that i am still got a, long, a lot of room for improvement. <laughs> um, still, I think I've come a long way, and that's, and that's exciting. And uh, it's, uh, I want to say, ironic. It's interesting how the coming a long way is, um, it's kind of like that circling back, that turning around, the flipping the switch, just tuning to a different channel, really, and um, letting go of, of the things that don't serve us or the things that don't serve me. Um, and I want to put a little asterisk in that, that, that word, wordage that I just used there because um, I was talking in the universal us sense. However, um, what serves me at any given time is a very personal, particular thing, although there are some, some trends, we could say, in what serves us, like self-love and self-care. Um, the details, though, of what's going to serve me at any given time, what's going to serve you at any given time, are, you know, uh, sometimes I say arbitrary. Maybe not arbitrary isn't the right word, but um, diverse varied, uh, not so important. <laughs> um, I mean, important to you, they are all very important. The specifics are very, very important. Uh, I heard somebody talk, making the analogy recently of a sandwich. Um, so just as specific as that, like maybe any sandwich will do. And when you're really hungry, in fact, every sandwich is great, right? Um, to design the perfect life, though, the perfect sandwich, you got to really get in touch with what you really want and what you don't want on your sandwich, right? And I think uh, I think that's a great analogy for designing a life because it's not like my sandwich preferences are better than your sandwich preferences, and still, mine are important to me, just like yours are important to you, right? And I think the same goes for uh, designing our ideal lives. Uh, and I like this sandwich analogy some more, even more, because um, because throughout my life, I haven't had the same sandwich. There are trends. Uh, there are things that are kind of, that I carry through my favorites, and then there are Sometimes I make a big shift, you know. Um, sometimes I'll have a lot of avocado and then get tired of avocado. No, it's possibly get tired of avocado. I'm just, I'm just playing. Uh, anything is possible, even getting tired of avocado, right? Um, and the point of that is just that sometimes I want, you know, a hamburger. And sometimes I want a salmon tacos. Mm. Anyway, the point of that is one favorite isn't better than the other. One sandwich isn't better than the other. One life isn't better than the other. My perfect life isn't any better or worse than your perfect life. Still though, my perfect life probably isn't identical to your perfect life. And if I want my perfect life, then I gotta make my perfect life. And if you want your perfect life, you got to design and make your perfect life. And that starts with, you know, realizing what we do and don't like and making 
room for more of what we do like by letting go, releasing what we don't any longer. What's no longer like a 10, what's no longer our favorite, right? I could go on and perhaps I will, but for now I'm going to wrap this up and say, uh, don't forget that I welcome your support. I have some books for sale. I have some consulting jobs uh, for hire. I have some courses in the works. I've got some music out there. Check it out in the description. I uh, welcome your support and your contact. If you've got any questions or comments, I welcome that as well. As always, I'm wishing you love and lightheartedness and laughter, productive conflict resolution, peaceful confrontations. Don't forget to play every day and enjoy some sweet, sweet dreams.